hello youtube what's going on um so uh on the screen i have the project we'll be building right it's a trello like a uh, project uh trello is sort of like a project management system or tool you use to keep track of tasks that you are doing you are supposed to do and the ones you are done with you all right so yeah here it is add let's see add to do we can add another task add to do one and add to do two and then you can drag uh the item you are currently busy with so when you are dragging it uh the element you are dragging fades uh to show you're actually dragging this one and you can also drag this one and let's say add to do you're done with it you can drag it to the last div right pretty cool so now we are all done with these things so yeah this is basically it. you can add as many as you want yeah this is basically the project we'll be building right so i hope you're gonna enjoy it so please do not forget to hit that subscribe button let's go to vs code now hello so uh we have an, an empty project here so let me quickly add the files we need we don't need a lot we could simply uh work with this one only because we can write our uh, javascript code in here also css but then uh let me just have css also the javascript code uh separately right and then let's do this right uh drag and drop uh here we gonna link why does it not lose it script and it's in the same directory so we can just do this um also here we need to specify our css or link or css is it like this rel style sheet okay so we have this uh but when we have an empty body um <laughs> uh, we have a button a button to add and then we also have containers uh we have container we have direct containers and what up what else uh for now let's just add text area in here no we don't need this part because we're just building our building up the ui right and also here we can say page two uh to do uh h2 um in progress and here h2 done yeah this is basically our html pretty simple pretty short um so let's do the the css part okay let me run the server and also please guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel please do not forget to subscribe leave a comment down below and hit the like button so let's style let's style let's style so i just need us to reset this uh what's going on heading imagine and butter box not box box i see um what else okay let me say body and do some padding 20 pixels 
um uh we have a button we can just use it global style because we only have one button in there with we want to make it to be uh a cycle so we can say the width and the height are of the same size and border radius we make it 50 percent and then color uh let's see brown something brown nah not this uh let me see yeah something like this um what else do we need okay containers so this is the div that contains the containers right uh we could do flex okay after flex we need to justify that's the file content space this is space between let's see okay what we need to do let's see container and let's just give it a bit of background so we can see where the okay no okay let me see with 100% you take the whole width uh but then we need them to give each other some breathing space i don't know if this would work uh i think it's okay uh also some padding because if you look at the if you look at the the text and uh the input we're not at the right position um what else do we need okay border radius uh maybe five okay um so let's also deal with that button we're not done with it it is it wasn't supposed to be colored it's supposed to be background background color and border we don't need any border and maybe the color of the text inside should be white yeah pretty good um no imagine let me see also i don't know if we should make it bigger yeah cool um okay the text area we also don't need to really give it any class um what is this background inherit so it's going to use the background color of whatever element it is in um what else um so with needs to take the whole width 100% um what else okay maybe also some border radius two here five and resize we only want to the resize to be only this no only go down not this way right because do you see when we go this way it affects the other this so we only gonna allow it to go down and say resize vertical refresh and you see you cannot go um let's see let's see let's see right um i need us to i need us okay let's do this 
I need us to give this thief some uh, IDs so we can specify them specifically for their background colors because we're not going to use the same color. And then here, the first one background is going to be something like yellow, yellow what? Yellow green, I don't know. Uh, second one, let's see, not red. Yeah, something like this. And the third one, uh, green. Uh, yeah, I think the colors are okay. The colors are okay. What the color? No, the background should be white. Don't need the outline. Okay. Um. So I also like using uh Google Fonts. So I'm just gonna import it now. Just give me a few seconds. Here, and let's see with the different font. You see looks beautiful okay so now i think we can start with our wait let me see if i remove the border from that where is a let me see border actually none yeah i think it's okay like this all right so basically what we need to do is that when we click this add button you should add a text area and you should be able to drag it do you see you can't drag it even when i try to press and hold it does not even show that this element is draggable so yeah we need to work on that so let's head to our javascript let's head to our javascript so let's select a few things the button document oh no Query selector. We only have one button. Also the containers. Document dot query selector. Containers. Uh, what else do we need? Uh, I think we have everything. We have the containers and we also have a button. So what happens when you click a button? So let's add the event listener. Um, on click event. Uh, let's add our function. Our event handler. Right. Um, so what happens on click? So what happens on a button click it should add a text area into the first container right it should add a text area into the first container because we have one two three we have three different containers so when you click here you should add it here so let's do that let's say text area document document create element which is a text area and then we also wait we don't need to give it a class because we already specified that all the divs will look i mean all the text area we have 
we have a, a global styling in here so we don't need to give it a class and also for you to be able to drag an element you need to attach an attribute a draggable attribute and set it to true so this allows you to drag this element right now uh, let me write comment create a text area Uh, make it draggable and then the api we are using actually needs to know uh it needs to be able to know which element you are actually trying to save on it and then so you can be able to access it later on when you want to do the drop or the drop event right so for us to be able so let, let me give you an example here let's say i have a bunch of text areas in this container so when i drag the api needs to know which uh element i'm dragging and then when i drop i need to be able to tell it this is the element i'm dropping so if i don't give this elements or this text areas id ids it wouldn't necessarily know which text area to choose i hope that makes sense well let, let's see how it, uh, it works in code so let's just say text area dot id uh, let's give it a unique id so we could simply use math random multiplied by 100 i think this should be fine why did my apply okay um what else do we need so now we need to attach our uh, events or event listener on this particular id so when we drag it what must happen when we drop it what must happen right so we could have something like text area text area dot add event listener so we're going to listen on drag on drag no but then on drag start so when the drag starts so when the dragging when you start dragging this so you see you have a couple of things so you have on drag so on drag basically listens to you when you're dragging over all over the screen but then this one uh fires when you start dragging this one fires when you 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 drop it so when you drop uh the element that drag and fire so for us we just need to to use the drag start so on drag start we are going to say okay so this is the element the user is trying to drag to another container then we we do some some magic um so drag start what do we need in the drag start we have a function so let's just call it uh on drag start right and then we also uh can we also can do an uh on on i mean drag and on drag end so these are the functions that will will run when this events happens right but then we don't have this function c yet so let me have on on drag and and also have on dr drag start so now we need to work on on drag start right so on drag start we know it fires when this element gets dragged right the elements fires i mean the the function fires when the the dragging happens so what we need to do is to say okay so since you're being dragged let's use the data transfer uh api or we could say it's, it's an object a data transfer transfer dot we have a function called set data 
this is where we're going to save the date right there it is on the screen so the format you specify the type of the data you are actually putting into the data transfer and then we could say the format is going to be a text and secondly you could say i mean what it does i mean the second uh, argument is the actual data you are dragging right so for us we're going to take the id of the element we are dragging so later when we drop we're going to use that id to pick that specific element from uh one of the three divs uh, on our screen so let's say event dot target dot id because remember uh we have assigned each text area uh an id right so we'd assume when we do the drag all the we assume would assume um the random function here will always give a, a, a random and unique ids but then if not we're gonna experience some problems but then i think this should work for now because we're not going to deal with a lot of uh text areas so this id should work. so now we are saying this is the id we want uh we are actually dragging right yes so whenever we're going to do the drag i mean the drop we'll be able to go to data transfer and get this id and be able to move it into another uh, another div okay so far so far I, I just need us to leave this function empty like this i need us to focus on the containers so on the containers part we need to make sure that uh this element the divs allow you to drop on top of them let's see oh, it doesn't add anything so we need uh it need we need we need these three divs to allow us to drag something and drop on top of them because by default you can see i cannot even drag it right or i can't drag anything into here you see do you see like it says no you can do that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna iterate through the containers for each for each container for each container we're gonna say container dot at event listener what is the event listener that we are actually listening to we are listening <clears throat> sorry on drag over so whenever the user is dragging over this so whenever the user is dragging over this do you see now it says you cannot do this so we should be able to allow that so let's say drag over so we're going to prevent uh, the default behavior of drag over so you're just gonna say e dot prevent default so this should allow us to drag over uh these containers right you should okay you're gonna see it because this element is not draggable but then you're gonna see it okay let me do this let me let me fix this one so you can actually see what i'm talking about um remember we just created this and then we did not edit we need to whenever we create a new to do it must come into this div not this one not this one because we assume when you are adding a new task you can add the task that you are already done so you could say you are about to start a new task so we need to add it into the first div so we're gonna say first cause to contain i mean query selector and remember all the divs have ids so the one we are looking for is the first and then now we can append the text area on top of it um let's go into the html and remove the text area that we have here let me 
no save this one let me you see you see now it shows you that you can drag this element right so normally <clears throat> when you drop on top of uh, another element it will normally especially if it's like an image or a link when you drop on top of it it's gonna open it uh into a new tab but then by saying prevent default we are saying don't open the default page so now we are saying you see i can drop but it doesn't allow me because i haven't allowed the drop i just allowed the drag over right so now let's let's work on the drop so what happens when we drop we're gonna okay let me say iterate through oh no through the containers containers and allow drag over in all of them and then also copy this line no here we're just gonna say allow drag i mean drop so when you drop something when you drop something so when i drag it when i drop it here it should actually move from here to here right so we need to allow the drop part where's this id coming from i don't know what is going on oh yeah let's just remove this part <clears throat> um so so what we do is on drop so on drop we're gonna also uh other elements don't allow you to drop on top of them right so now we're gonna say prevent it allow it to drop so allow the opposite of the normal behavior to to be the case so now we say we're going to allow it for something to drop on top of it so for us to access the data here do you see here we save the data in the data transfer we save this particular information or data could be could be anything but then in our case is a text area so or the id of the text area uh so let's have let's get access to it we're gonna say constant text area id and use data transfer but instead of set we're gonna say get data <clears throat> and then we're gonna say we you access the the data by specifying uh the type or the format of the data you saved so it's going to uh this function will return the last uh object or the last data you had saved into here by just spe specifying uh the format can obviously we are not say get this id we are saying get this format so it's going to get the last data that was saved with this format so obviously we know we cannot drag two things at the same time is all it's always gonna be one uh text area so now we have the id we can be able to access this text area from our dom right because uh every text area on our dom would have a unique id so now we can be able to access it and move it into another container the container which container the one that you are trying to drop on top of so this function on drop would happen when i leave the mouse when i leave the mouse that function fires so we are saying when this function fires append this specific oh this is the id of the this is the id of the the text area so we are saying when you drag this when i drag this i should be able i should be able to to drop it into this one 
and then since i have the id i know it's not this one i know it's this one so i'll be able to get this specific one instead of this one i hope that makes sense so let's say instead of actually having to do it like this we're just going to say this specific uh or this target element the one we are dropping onto we're just going to append something on top of it what is it append child right what is this child we go into the dom query selector or actually let's not use query selector let's just use uh, get element by id where is this id coming from is this one blah blah okay there's something wrong there's something going on uh let's go through our code let's go through our con um let me see let's see what is happening and and obviously our thing obviously our our project is not mobile friendly let's type error containers for each is not a function not containers there's only one container we're actually looking for container if you say containers there's only one div so we need to do this uh, containers each for each is not a function what is going on containers why is going on another problem so instead so the selector query select only returns the first div it finds right or the first element that matches this class so in order to get everything we need to say query selector all no longer have the error so let me close it add some magic and let's drag boom another one another magic okay another magic one so i want to show you another magic two so all these four text areas have their own unique id so if they didn't have uh their unique ids that uh api wouldn't necessarily know which div you're trying to drag let me say i want to drag another magic one let me say i drag it to you see you know it knows that you are dragging this specific uh, uh text area i can drag this one into this one i can drag this one here uh, let's have a bit of padding between here so you can you see there's so much little space to to drag another text area into that one so let's just have a bit of padding there let's have a bit of padding um and uh, let's see no make it 20 and then also no i don't have to go there let me just say imagine top and push the text area a bit up did it do container imagine top oh it is already to a 10 let's say 15 yeah wait no shouldn't be in here should be in the text area yeah at least they are breathing but 15 is a lot let me just make it 10 um 
so what we can do is you can do um um you can style this text area when you're dragging it so you can be able to know which uh text area you're dragging so we can apply some style so once you start drag we can apply some style on that particular text area when you drop uh so you can be able to actually know which uh element you are dragging you see we are dragging this one but all of them they look the same right so let's just play around with the drag end so this is where the drag end comes just gonna do add drag uh we go to glass list or we could use glass name but let's just use glass list and add another um another class to but then we don't actually have any other class on this text area but then we can add a class called dragging drag let's just say it's drag so when you are dragging so when you drop once you drop uh no it should be removed here actually when you start dragging when you start dragging a target dot class list once you start dragging we go into add uh a class on that element you are tracking so we can be able to see it so we're gonna use this class to style it and then once you finish dragging it we're going to remove it yes so the class name is track so we're just going to go our background and make it a bit um i don't know inherit let me see so once you start dragging it it will look like it's parent uh, let's see no what's going on on drag start you add that last called drag on drag end you add a last called you remove it last called drag so what did i do wrong here okay specificity let me come here should work why is it not working okay let me say red let me console okay why is it not adding let me force this is a problem what's going on why like this is such a relatively small project but it has so many errors not many errors but i just make like mistakes let's see uh at last list move no I don't need this period damn it code will always frustrate you yes uh, but then we don't need to actually make it inherit uh what could we make it let's let's make it white but see-through i don't know if that makes sense white but see-through white but see-through cool um uh, i am done with this project and i hope you enjoyed it so i'm adding a task for you please subscribe like and leave a comment down below i'm waiting for you I'm waiting. Should I drag it here in progress? Yeah. Okay. And I hope now you are done with the subscription. And to do for myself, record another 
amazing project see you soon guys so uh i hope you guys enjoyed this project and please do not forget to hit that subscribe button hit the like button and leave a comment down below on how to improve i don't know why i i did a bit of mistakes maybe i was doing it uh in in a hurry but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it this looks pretty pretty cool man thank you for checking out this